Next year, over two and a half million people will take at least one packaged holiday abroad. Don't worry, they won't all be going the same weeks as you, nor to the same beach. Still, it's a pretty staggering figure, and it's some indication of the fantastic boom there's been over the last five years. Five years. Of course, there were packaged holidays before that, but many of them left a lot to be desired. Then Clarkson's entered the market. Up till that time, they had concentrated on short tours. Like their one-day trip to the tulip fields of Holland. Still a firm favourite. Efficiently handling the transport for the large numbers of people who went on these short tours had given Clarkson's valuable experience. Experience they would use to transform the holiday business. They made rules for themselves and stuck to them. First, they decided to use only the newest planes available. This is an attitude that not all charter companies share. Clarkson's reckoned that only the best was good enough for their holiday planes. In fact, in 1965, they started their Mediterranean holidays with new Viscounts, flying you to the Costa Brava, Benidorm, and Mallorca. A modest beginning to what was to become an enormous success story. Clarkson's have always held the view that you should enjoy every minute of your holiday, including the traveling. It was with this in mind that they introduced the first all-jet holiday program in 1967. Now Clarkson's use a fleet of Super BAC 111s, affectionately called the Lollipop Line, because of their gay styling. These planes, powered by Rolls-Royce engines, jet you to the sun at 550 miles an hour. Mallorca is only two hours away. It takes a lot longer than that to get the most English holiday resorts. The Clarkson's representatives are looking after you all the time, ready to iron out any little difficulty you may encounter. Clarkson's look after your interests in many other ways. The most important of these being the hotel where you will be staying. The enormous growth of the holiday business has meant there is a shortage of really good hotels. Although Clarkson's have had the pick of these, it's still not enough. So Clarkson's have financed the improvement of existing hotels and the building of new ones. The real benefit for you in all this is that Clarkson's now have a great deal more control over the whole range of amenities. Clarkson's are involved right from the start. Their experts are there to advise on the sighting to make sure there's a good beach and pleasant scenery surrounding the hotel. They see it right through the building stages, enforcing strict quality control. They can specify down to the smallest detail, and they do. Clarkson's insist that the hotel will come up to their stringent specifications before they agree to book it for any of their clients. The Misongi Beach Hotel on the beautiful island of Corfu is just one example of how this behind-the-scenes quality control works for you. All this must be very expensive, you're probably saying to yourself. I suppose they're going to put up the prices. They're not. Of the hotels that are still in the brochure since 1965, only one has increased in price by a pound. The rest have gone down. And these hotels have only managed to stay in the brochure at all by improving their bedroom facilities and adding swimming pools. First class travel and accommodation. What else can a tour operator offer you? In 1968, Clarkson's introduced a guarantee. This means, for example, that every one of their hotel bedrooms has at least a private shower and WC at no extra cost. This sort of fair dealing proved its worth to the extent that it is now acclaimed by the Consumer Council. All this time, Clarkson's have been increasing your choice of holiday resorts. In 66, the Italian and Adriatic Riviera and Elba. 67, Ibiza and the Venetian Riviera. 68, Costa del Sol, the Canary Islands, Tunisia and Yugoslavia. 69, Portugal, Greece and Tyrolean holidays. 70, Minorca, Rhodes and the Dalmatian Riviera. And it's not just an increase in the choice of resorts. In 1969, they introduced motoring holidays. All the advantages of a packaged holiday, with all the freedom of driving there in your own car.
This year, we introduced our Mediterranean cruises. What an amazingly popular decision this has turned out to be. The same Clarkson's attention to detail, the same painstaking care, but a brand new setting. You jet direct to the Mediterranean sun, and your holiday starts just a few hours after leaving England when you board the Molina. The Molina is a floating hotel. It's staffed by experienced and capable officers. Offers cabins only with private char and WC. Deck games. Swimming pool. A trained medical staff. And friendly service. There's a choice of dancing. We own squares and Foxtrot, while the youngsters are enjoying themselves in the discotheque. There's fancy dress parties, in fact all the fun of shipboard life. And added to this is the joy of waking up each morning to a new breathtaking panorama. While you've been sleeping in your air-conditioned cabin, the Molina has moved on. You smiled, not too openly at the picturesque soldiers patrolling outside the royal palace in Athens. You've seen the wonders of the Acropolis. Now you're in a different country altogether. You're ready to be charmed by the antiquity of Dubrovnik the friendliness of the Yugoslavs. You go bargain hunting in the market and sample the local fare. Yes, a cruise with Clarkson's will leave you with many treasured memories. Such has been the success of this year's program that for 1971 you'll have three ships to choose from. But which kind of holiday you decide to take with Clarkson's, rest assured that they'll be working hard. Working hard to make it the best one you've ever had. So that you'll come back again and recommend us to all your friends.